So my name is Edward Reyes, and I know a lot of attorneys that came to Cooley, and they're very successful. I feel I felt very confident in their abilities. I looked up looked up to them as mentors, and overall, I got a great vibe when I came to the orientation. It was a phenomenal experience. I learned a lot of information, and uh, and I've made a lot of great friends. Well, what catapulted me to to go to law school? Essentially, I nine years into the business, they were changing the laws on the healthcare side. Um, they wanted the doctors to be on the corporation. They wanted the doctors to be on the bank account. And I owned other businesses. Um, not to go on a, on a little bit of a tangent, but I also owned a gym because we did P PT out of a gym as well. And something happened with the gym. Somebody I brought in as an employee, which made me go through all these legal issues. And you know, the, the, saying, the, the saying goes, it's a civil matter, it's a civil matter. You have to go after him civilly. And the law actually protected him even though he was wrong. Um, and then going after him to get any money from him was almost impossible because he had no assets. So I learned really quickly of kind of how that game is played. So I said, you know what? I wanted, I want to go forward and help people with issues that they may have issues. And on the personal injury side, because I had the clinic, we had the, um, I saw, I dealt with a lot of attorneys. A lot of them became great friends of mine. Cause I mean, we saw about 2000 patients at the, you know, whenever I had the clinic. So I understood the process and I met a lot of people and I wanted to be on the other side of things. And for me, it's very important to be self propelled, meaning self directed. Whenever they were changing the laws, as I was uh, mentioning before, they want the doctors to be in your bank account, doctors to be in your corporation. Well, now I lose the power as my, through my own business. Now doctors are, even though they're on my payroll, now they're my boss and they can fire me off my corporation. That created a huge problem for me. And I was saying to myself, what would happen if I had to close my business? Who's gonna pay me the amount of money that I need to make because I didn't have a college degree? I didn't have an associate's, I didn't have my bachelor's. So I decided at that point, difficult decision, I decided at that point that I needed to go to, to get, I got my associates, got my bachelor's, and went to law school, straight full time. And I still work full time. I, the, way I, the way I was able to, to work full time and go to school full time, and also I have two kids, I have a 20 year old and a 12 year old, married as well, house, bills, tons of bills. And because you're used to living a comfortable lifestyle, the way I did it was I chunked everything in time. Instead of thinking of seven years or eight years or the amount of stress and the amount of work, I thought about it, let me finish this semester. That's all I want to think about. Most people say, oh, but it's going to take you X amount of time. I was like, don't talk to me about that. I don't want to care about that. I want to, I'm thinking about let me finish this semester and then let me think about the next. Let me finish this semester, let me think about the next. It's like when you're running. If you're a runner, for example, long distance running is very difficult. So you pick a tree, you run towards the tree, you get to the tree, like, okay, I got that. And you run to the next tree. By the time you look back, you've done a marathon. And that's how I think about everything. I, I, I chunk my goals. I think about it. I have the big goal and then I break it down per year, per month, per day sometimes, depending per week and per day sometimes, depending on the goal. And I've been able to accomplish many goals since then. Um, there's a famous saying that I've lived by, and I can't remember where I heard it, but how do you eat an elephant? An elephant is a very, you know, it's a ginormous animal. It's thousands of pounds, I mean, at minimum. And you, when you think about how, how do you eat an elephant, the idea is overwhelming, and you'll say, I can't, there's no way I can eat an elephant. But, and the answer is, you eat it one bite at a time. So that's how you eat an elephant. That's how you do your goals. You break down it to small little pieces that you can, you can chew, and then by the time you're done, you ate the elephant. I graduated in January, and I took the bar in July, and then once I got the results back, I posted up on Facebook, and I got a thousand something people, I got likes like crazy, and then I got like hundreds of comments, and somebody called me up, they said, hey, do you want your first client? I said, of course. So in fact, the funny thing is I had to call the bar, see if they can get, send me the paper, that the oath, where I can get it notarized, 
And then I had to go to a, uh, an attorney friend of mine. We had to do an emergency uh, uh, swearing in at his office, very impromptu, because I had a, a client 30 minutes later. And the best thing about this is that because I didn't have a lot of the forms, he gave me a lot of his forms, I had to stop at a uh, Chick-fil-A on the way to Clearwater to sign up this client, and I filled out all the forms on, on, the, uh, on the fly. And then I met with the client, signed them up, and from that I got that client that day, I got another client the next day, and um, I've been open for about, since September, in September, and I've got about 140 clients right now.